Hi, I'm Lisa Rajan and I write the Tara Bins and Danny Bins books. They're books that show children that anybody can be anything they want when they grow up and hopefully put big ideas in little minds. Uh, like other authors, I'm reading my books on YouTube so that you can enjoy them at home uh, during lockdown. Today, I'm going to be reading Danny Bins, Clever Chef. Danny Bins finished chatting to her sister Tara and went into the spare bedroom looking for the old toy box. There it was. She opened the lid and looked inside. Every time she took something from the box, it gave her a job to do and sent her off on an adventure. She picked out a pack of chalk pens. Maybe I'll be an artist, she thought. Her hand began to tingle. The tingling spread up her arm and around her whole body. Then she began spinning and tumbling through space and time. When the spinning stopped, Danny found herself in the bustling kitchen of a restaurant. All around her were busy chefs, chopping, peeling, slicing, preparing and cooking. It was hot and extremely noisy. Ah, you're here, said a boy in a tall hat. I'm Ty and this is Asher. We're the head chefs. The restaurant is really busy today. You'll be helping Izzy, the sauce chef. You won't need chalk pens, smiled Asher. The menu blackboard is in the restaurant, not the kitchen. You'll need these. Asher held out a hat and an apron. Izzy had nearly finished making three sauces. One is salad dressing for the starter. One is curry sauce for the main course. That one is toffee syrup for the pudding, Izzy told Danny. They all look the same, thought Danny. Can you smell burning? Izzy asked Danny, sniffing the air and glancing around. You finish the sauces while I investigate. Lemon juice in, uh, that one. Chilli in, um, that one. And sugar in that one. Danny followed Izzy's instructions. Then she poured the sauces onto the plates and the waiter took them out to the customers. Two minutes later, the waiter was back. What's wrong? Asher asked. The customers are complaining. Three have stormed out. The salad tastes sweet, the curry tastes sour, and the toffee pudding tastes spicy. What's going on? The waiter asked. Danny gulped. Oh dear. I got distracted by this food burning and must have got the pans mixed up when I told Danny which sauce was which. Sorry, Izzy apologised. We'll have to throw the sauces away and start again, moaned Ty. What a waste! Izzy started again. Danny helped gather the ingredients they needed for all three sauces. They had to work fast the customers would be getting hungry and impatient. Izzy grabbed the chilli. She was about to add it to one of the saucepans, but paused. What's wrong? asked Danny. I can't remember if I've added this already. And to which pan? Izzy replied. Danny saw Ty putting the new meals onto plates. He would be heading over for the sauces soon. How can I solve this problem? wondered Danny. Danny remembered the chalk pens and had an idea. She took out the green, red and brown pens. She drew three circles on the worktop next to the hob in the same positions as the three saucepans. She wrote dressing in the green one, curry in the red one and pudding in the brown one. Now we'll know which pan is which, Danny explained to Izzy. And if we put the ingredients in the circles after we've added them to the right pan, we won't accidentally use them twice. Great idea, said Izzy. That's a clever way to help us keep track when the kitchen is busy. 
It's a shame the spoilt sauces will be wasted, though, stated Asher, about to pour them down the sink. And the customers who left won't come back. Danny felt another idea bubbling up. Wait, Danny shouted. I think I can fix that too. She grabbed the chalk pens and raced into the restaurant. When Asher, Ty and Izzy followed Danny, they found her busily scribbling on the menu blackboard. Danny presented her idea to the whole restaurant with a flourish. Today's special, Lucky Dip Lunch. Spicy, sweet and sour surprises. The customers looked excited. The waiter buzzed between tables, taking orders. Asher and Ty were impressed. Izzy looked delighted and Danny was thrilled to have helped. There were still two empty tables though. I know how we can fill those, she thought, picking up the menu board and taking it outside. Asher and Ty joined Danny outside. Asher held up the pack of chalk pens. I'm glad they saved the sauces, said Danny. You can keep them. It's your clever idea that will prevent any future mix-ups, not the chalk pens, smiled Ty. You take them as a souvenir of your adventure. As Danny took the pack from Ty, she felt a tingle in her hand, then her arm. Then her whole body started spinning and tumbling away from the restaurant. When the spinning stopped, Danny found herself back in the spare bedroom. She put the pack of chalk pens in the toy box and closed the lid. What a stirring adventure, she told her sister Tara. The chalk pens were vital ingredients, but my cooking circles were the icing on the cake or the toffee syrup on the pudding. Tara smiled. The toy box has given you a taste for trying things out, Danny, she said. I wonder what will be on the menu next time. That was Danny Bin's Clever Chef. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you would like to hear other Tara Bins and Danny Bins stories, do check out the YouTube channel um, or go to tarabins.com for the books themselves. Bye.